Good evening. Tonight, Kate Texas brings you an in-depth look at crime in the big country. We'll take a look at police responding to a major gun bust in Anson. Business owners voicing their concerns about vandalism and theft in downtown Brownwood. A man arrested for hacking into a Brownwood service provider. To an Abilene High School student arrested earlier today. We'll have those crime stories for you tonight. We start with the Anson Police Department responding to a welfare check last week. They say what happened is not something they run into very often. Okay, Texas reporter Alejandro Puente has those details and the fears officers face when responding to calls like this one. Dozens of guns, thousands of rounds of ammo and marijuana were all seized from a welfare check in Anson. It felt like hours and at that point we were we, we knew nothing about what was going on in the house. So do we have a hostage situation? Have we had a murder suicide? You know, do we have kids injured? Do we have the wife injured? You know, what do we have? Lieutenant Blankenship is the officer who responded to that welfare check that resulted in the arrest of Larry Brown. Police say Brown kept them on their toes for about 20 minutes before surrendering. The biggest thing running through my head during this whole thing was that this guy was going to come out with a gun and one of us or all of us were going to have to shoot at him and possibly take a life. The possibility of not coming home one night is a fear police tell us that they're aware of when they take an oath. You know you have a job to do and everybody that puts on this uniform knows that you know, you're here to protect people. You're here to do a job that you may or may not come back home. Officers put their lives on the line every day when they put on their uniforms. And this does bring into light the potential fears officers face when they respond to calls and even after. And in this case, when we got in the house and we actually saw the firepower that, that uh, the suspect had, then then that's when your knees shake a little bit. That's when you realize just how terrible this could have went um, and how grateful you are that it was resolved peacefully. Both say the fear is always present, but the priority will always be the people that they're helping. Um, I'm not fearing for my personal safety and I'm not fearing for the safety of my officers. Uh, you know, our focus is on the safety of the people inside the house. It was not only myself and my safety, it was what can I do with what we're seeing and everything to keep everybody safe at that point. The Anson Police Department wants to thank all the local agencies that assisted with the arrest of Brown, and they are just happy that everybody got to go home. Reporting in the studio, Alejandra Puente, K Texas News. Yeah, glad no one was hurt there. Alejandra, thank you. In Brownwood, some downtown business owners say crime there is on the rise as they see theft, vandalism, and attempted break-ins. K Texas reporter Karina Hollingsworth visited Brownwood to check on those businesses today. Business owners in downtown Brownwood are on high alert as business after business has been hit by random acts of crime. Well, it looks like they rolled up, got out, stole the three plants and the sensor and then got back in and took off. That's Steve Harris, the co-owner of Steve's Market in Delhi, as he watches surveillance footage in disappointment as thieves run away with the business's plants. Our plants in particular, they have a long history and a long story. Not all these plants are procured locally. Aware of the recent increase in crimes, the business owner is offering a $1,000 reward to catch the plant thief. But he says he's also aware that his business has a piece of equipment that some businesses don't. A lot of us small business owners can't afford high-tech, uh, more expensive security uh, cameras. Uh, and so that would help us. That would help us. If, if, what is, if the police are saying what they need is better quality of imaging, then the, then, then, then the city, we're asking the city to help us with that. The business owner says he has reached out to city officials to inquire about a business security improvement grant for businesses in Brownwood. Rita Webb of Davis Floral says when someone attempted to break into the flower shop, the security cameras were not much help. They had dark clothing on, 
and dark hair, and I don't know, we just couldn't make it out. Of course, it was very, very dark over there on that side of the building. We have lights and stuff from the city street lights, but it's not in that special corner. Webb says her family has not had a good night's rest since the attempted break-in, as they jump at every security system alert. And she believes the business security improvement grant is a great idea. <laughs> That'd be wonderful. That would be really nice instead of all the expense on the individual businesses, you know. And two, it might make us where we have better security cameras and stuff instead of where you can't see a drive uh, license plate or something. We reached out to the Brownwood city manager to see if the business security improvement grant could be a possibility in the future, but we have not yet received a response. In the studio, I'm Karina Hollingsworth, K Texas News. Karina, thank you. We'll have the latest on an arrested broadband provider hacker in Brownwood here in just a few moments.